Artless Tales is Anna Maria Porter's collection of three short stories. And so each of them focuses on a young woman as she is coming into the world and coming into her own, facing conflicts of various kinds, including economic precarity, a family conflict. The process for Anna Maria Porter's Artless Tales started when I saw Barrett Honors College suggesting that perhaps during the pandemic it would be a good idea to come up with some online internships and put out a call. She had talked to us kind of saying, you know, call me by my first name. Like, I know I have a PhD, but we're co-workers on this. I joined Dr. Luzier, Claire, and AJ and um, was able to jump in on the project a little bit after it had started. I took a course with Dr. Luzier in Jane Austen, and I knew I wanted to further develop my skills in research. And I spoke to the advisor. They said, you know, ask a professor that you admire, someone that you're interested in their work. And immediately I knew that Dr. Luzier was the professor I wanted to work with. The press that we published this with, the Juvenalia Press, is at the University of New South Wales. And so we were doing lots of United States versus Australia time difference excitement. And one of the reasons that I really wanted to publish this book with them is they focus on writers who were uh, publishing before age 21. And Anna Maria Porter published this book at age 16. So it was a perfect fit. She also published another book called Artless Tales, volume one, if you will, when she was just 14 years old. So this is the collection of stories that was not her first year uh, effort, it was more her sophomore effort. I started this work as a sophomore and I'm now a senior, so it's been two years. And Devney the whole time was kind of telling us like, publication is a long process, like you're gonna see how this goes. And the feeling when it came out was really exciting. I thought it was, really, really fun and there was so much to learn from Dr. Lozer that she was so happy to share. We made it possible for readers to read this text from the late 18th century and the early 21st century with a better set of tools. It felt like giving her her due. It felt like a small part in giving her the credit she deserves and restoring her to a place in literary history that she deserves. My takeaway is that you should definitely reach out because the professors want to work with you. They want to see you succeed and they want your collaboration. It was really exciting to be an important voice in, a, in an already important project.